It's basically that in a podcast in one season. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, love, he asked about Friday night, not tonight. Tonight we are playing... Uh, tonight we are playing some Sly Cooper 2, as requested by Nate. Or not Sly Cooper 2, Sly Cooper, the first one, not number two. Anyways, but tomorrow night, I guess we will finally be playing Metal Gear Solid 2. Because uh, Chocobo requested that... No oh, shit, I don't even remember at this point. Um... 11 days ago. <laughs> so, uh, let's do that. Uh, real quick, before we get into it, guys, I do have the results from the last poll. Um, Nintendo games ended up winning that one, the, the round 1.5. So, that went on to the actual round 2. I'm trying to rush it out because I want to have the polls kind of finished up by next week. So, that either next week or the week after, we can start doing... Uh, the new niche, whatever everyone picks. So there's the link for round two. It's in chat now. I'll be adding it to Discord at some point, probably later tonight. And you can make one or two choices. It's up to you. And you can choose between farming games, Western RPGs, sim and management games, and Nintendo games. Remember, guys, whatever you pick is what we'll be streaming one day a week for um, now until hopefully forever. Of course, if the category does very poorly, then we'll uh, switch it on over to something else after like six months to a year or something like that. But we're going to play around with it. As I was uh, discussing with Nate earlier today, actually, I do plan... Hey, Hattie. I do plan to do some other things Fly, as well. Let the cutscene play. Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just All right. The engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. We can handle it. We got it, Murray. Um, shit, I completely forget what I was saying. Uh, new niche. We'll be doing that based on the votes that everyone gives us. Let us know what you want to see. Uh, the, there was something else. I mean, there will be a round three. Uh, just a heads up. Whatever's picked right now is not going to be the one. The top three options will go into round three. And, uh, you'll be able to have one selection on that one. And whichever one is picked is the one that will actually add on to the stream schedule. What's happening? Uh, are you asking in game or are you asking outside <laughs> in game we're trying to steal a file as a raccoon out of game um we are doing a poll to see what stream niche people want added on to the docket to do every week so if you want you're more than welcome to do the poll along with everyone else the link should be in chat it's also on screen i can send it again though if you need it I'm on it. I think we can handle that. Thank you. Hold down the circle button. Yep, we got it. Please send again. Will do, man. Let me just get to this platform right here. Paste and send. Um, Yeah, so we had a round one already that wrapped up a little while ago. And then we had a round 1.5 because there was a tie. Um, but now we are on to round two. The choices are farming games, so Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, Western RPGs, stuff like Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Dragon Age, Nintendo games, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, or uh, sim and management games. Things like RimWorld, Sim, Civilization, stuff like that. There is no wrong option. I enjoy all those categories of gaming, so I'm perfectly fine with any of them. But I just uh, want to gauge what everyone else wants to see before I go and uh, go and change things up for like six months to a year. It's also important to note, we're not going to be losing anything. We are going to keep doing at least three PlayStation 2 games a week that we're playing. And we're still going to keep working on... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, my bad. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're still going to keep doing at least three PS2 games a week. And we're still going to be doing the one PS2 game that we're completing every week. This is just something added on. Uh, most likely what we'll do is make our streams a little bit longer to compensate for. But 
People vote for farming. You're going to be very disappointed. Well, it made it past round one already. And into round two. So, <laughs> it was uh, one of the most popular options out of what I think originally we had seven options. Maybe it was six. Six or seven options. I forget how many we had. But anyways, it was one of the most popular options for sure. So, I haven't played Sly Cooper in a long time, man. I've mentioned it before, but it's a very nostalgic game for me. I, uh, I believe it was my first um, PlayStation 2 game, as far as I as far as far I remember it. My mom brought home a PS2 and Sly Cooper. That's how I remember those events going down. Even if I'm misremembering, though, it was definitely one of my first PS2 games, and I adore it. I have played it, I forget, a few years back, and it didn't age quite as well as I had remembered it, so some of that was definitely nostalgia, some of my love for it, but with that said, still a great game. It has held up very well, it's just my memory of it kind of, you know, rose tinted glasses, all that stuff. Farming is so lame? Nah, man, I love farming games. Stardew Valley is one of my favorite games of all time. And then uh, Harvest Moon on the PS1 before that was uh, another one of my all-time favorite games. I prefer Stardew Valley these days to it, but uh, yeah. You love Sly Cooper? Me too, dude. Me too. You're weird. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, Stardew Valley sold, what, like 3, 4 million copies or something like that? Um, and the Harvest Moon franchise has been going since the Super Nintendo? So I would say it's a, it's a fairly popular series of games, or fairly popular genre of games, rather. I've seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh, and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my. Hey, you know that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little Ronnie. Doubt it. Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. There's definitely a little something something going on between those two. <laughs> I was trying to collect those coins, you dick. <laughs> You'd say play Metro instead? Oh, don't get me wrong. I love uh, Nintendo games. I love the, the Metroid franchise. Or are you talking Metro? Metro is not bad. I did play uh, Metro 1. I have played through it and finished it. It's not my favorite game, honestly. It uh, took me quite a while to beat it because it lost my interest a couple of times. Um, but, like, it's good. Nothing wrong with it. I've read that as Metroid because of the Nintendo game option on the on the list. Which Metroid's good too, man. I just like Once games. Again, my gang and I had given 2033 Last Light and Nexus. Yeah, 2033 is the only I one I played. Well and it was pretty it. good. I actually the the Finding ending the threw me for a loop. I really enjoyed the end. Years. But uh in the this, middle of it it got a little regain possession meh. of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust.
You never played Nintendo all that much, Hattie? I uh, play a little bit of everything. <laughs> I, I just like video games, honestly. I can't think... Besides, like, traditional sports games, I, uh, I don't really think there's a genre of games I don't really like. And there's some sports games that, um, that I like, you know, obviously. It's just, meh. Things like, like, uh, you know, football, basketball, golf, just your regular ones. The arcade versions, so though, those are always fun. Why doesn't he just use a gun? I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> I have no idea. Guess he's just not a fan. Is there an options menu? Because I would love to turn on subtitles, but I'm guessing that's not a thing. For at least for the regular cutscenes. Annoying, but that's fine. Hello, Murray. One. One. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> we got a whole bag of whatever. I think they're peanuts that he's eating there. But uh, of course, Murray can't share. Nope. Fuck that. I actually remember the first mission relatively well. Let the cutscene play, I guess. Give me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh Triangle. Nate says his tool is a family heirloom, if you remember right. I think you're right, and then of course there's the whole thing where it's like a crook, right? And he's a thief, a crook, so... There's a pun there to be made as well. I'm sure that probably played into it, but... <laughs> And then the real answer probably has something to do with family-friendly mascot platforming game. Early 2000s, everyone had to have one. I'm sure the real answer is somewhere hidden in there, but... <laughs> hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. And like that ladder there? That is correct. <laughs> but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Tutorial gonna tutorial, man. How is everyone tonight anyways, man? I uh, found myself napping again before the uh, before the day started because I was tired as shit, dude. I got home from work and I was watching a little bit of U YouTube and I was like, bruh, nope. I'm just, I'm just going to take a nap. I just laid down on the couch, passed the hell out. Thankfully, woke up early enough to... Why can't... Oh, excuse me, game. I'm trying to go the other way. Stop flip... <laughs> why why does it keep making me go up the other way i want to go up this way please there we go thank you got to get the clues so if i remember correctly the clues they let us do the safe at the end right if we get all of the clues then we get a get the safe which unlocks like a new move or, or something along those lines but uh little things like that by the way is what i was talking about whenever i said the game didn't a the game didn't age perfectly like it still looks really good in my opinion it's still a really fun time but there's definitely some some small problems that just exist in the game maybe i don't know if it's because i was younger or if because you know games were different back then but i was just more accepting of that's for sure things like that rope there for instance i don't know why i couldn't just climb on up it and instead had to, uh, like, fight it. What's stopping one dude from creating a bunch of accounts to make sure that one thing is voted for? Um, Strawpoll uses different things for that, different different ways to prevent that. But if it appears to be the case, because I know roughly how many people are going to vote on it, if there's suddenly a bunch of extra votes on there, then I would just invalidate the voting and do a new round of it. 
probably just share it with a closer knit group instead of uh, publicly on stream. Because I know how many viewers I have at any one time. I know uh, how many people I have on my Discord, right? And uh, I talk to a lot of the people that come to the streams outside of here. So if suddenly there's like, you know, 30 different votes on it, different accounts that voted on it, but I know I only shared it with, I don't know, 15 people, then yeah. <laughs> Plus again, Straw Poll has their own built-in things too to help prevent that. It's certainly possible to get around Straw Poll's protections, but they are there. I was not paying attention at all to what he was saying. Uh, I'm sure it was just something along the lines of, hey, don't uh, don't get in the lights, man. That wasn't nice. I was trying to get my, my things, and you're just over here being an asshole. Anyway, did I ask how everyone's doing tonight? I think I did. I don't remember. How is everyone doing tonight, man? Work was so slow today for me. I don't know what it was. Like, it wasn't s literally slow, right? Like, it was it was a pretty average day in terms of the amount of customers that we had and how busy we were and shit like that. But, oh my god, it just dragged on forever. Felt like it never wanted to end. It was ridiculous. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Could have something to do with the fact that he's a frog. I don't know. Maybe he just into into rain wants it to be nice and moist for him i don't know man how am i supposed to know what some weird frog dude wants or why he does what he does i am excited to be playing some sly cooper though we've been playing some uh very iffy games lately that's for sure <laughs> so i'm happy to be playing something that i know for a fact that i enjoy again and uh, this is going to be a strong contender for the next game that we complete on our Monday streams or Wednesday if we switch it to Wednesday. Because, yeah. I know I like Sly Cooper, and I had already mentioned before, I want to play one that's a little bit shorter after playing through Odin Sphere. We still have one or two weeks left of that game before we move on to anything else, but whenever it is finally finished up, I really want to uh, play something a little bit shorter. That's what's the only thing that stopped me from going straight into like a Final Fantasy or something like that, because <laughs> I just don't really want to go from one 40-hour game to another like 40 to 60-hour game. It's one of your favorite PlayStation series? Yeah, I don't blame you, honestly. Like I said, it's really good, man. I love uh, Sly 1. I don't think I ever got around to playing the other ones, though, surprisingly. I have the Sly Cooper collection for PS3? 4? I don't remember which one I have it for. But I have the Sly Cooper collection, so I... Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I never, I never got around to actually beating them. I don't, there's, I don't really have a reason for it. I just didn't, I guess. I really want to collect the coins, if you don't mind. God damn. Is there a? Nah, dude. Fuck. <laughs> I just want to collect the things. Why can't I collect the things? If Fallout isn't chosen, are you ever gonna beat them? Yeah. So that's another thing that I was talking about. Uh, with Nate earlier today when I was talking to him just off stream. I have been trying to think of a way to fit into the schedule doing like a community choice game instead of just like a category, right? Just having like a, a list of games that people can vote on and, and playing, playing whichever one comes out on top through to completion. Um, and I have played Fallout in my own personal time and I love it. It's I actually think I like Fallout more than Elder Scrolls. To be, uh, to be completely honest, I, I'm i a big fan of the Fallout series, so I would love to play them on, on stream as well. 
I've beaten uh, Fallout 1, and I used to stream Fallout 1 a little bit back in the day. Uh, Fallout 3 I've beaten, New Vegas I've beaten. I haven't beaten 4 yet, but I do plan on it one of these days. By comparison, yeah, if we locate all the clues, we can get it. I got it. I know, dude. Um, shit, completely forget what I was saying. Uh, anyways. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to be Fallout 4. I know I was trying to get to that point somewhere. By comparison, I've never beaten an Elder Scrolls game. I've played hmm, a Skyrim a shit ton. Hundreds of hours of it. Just never got around to actually finishing the damn thing. And that's Fallout 4. I, I don't know exactly how many hours I put into Fallout 4. I, I want to say 60 to 100, something like that. Um, but I always just got so lost in, you know, building up my colonies and, uh, ooh, there we go. There's some bottles. Building up my colonies, doing all the little side missions and shit. I just, I find Fallout to have very unique universes that are a lot of fun to just run around in, just exist in. Very similar to Elder Scrolls in that regard, but, uh. I don't know if it's the, the mechanics or the setting, but something about Fallout speaks to me more so than, than Elder Scrolls. Where is the last two secrets? I wanna I wanna find them all. I'm not, I'm not gonna spend too long. I'm just gonna check real quick, run back and check, and then we'll come back on over. But I do wanna at least try to find them all. Well, we missed a bunch of coins here somehow, so I guess probably after we died, huh? Because it doesn't doesn't seem to save. I right, no, wait. We got a checkpoint before, or we got the that after or before the checkpoint. I mean, holy shit, I can't think straight. So that should have been saved. Hmm, hmm, hmm. BRB, no problem, man. All right, game. Where are you hiding? I don't know. Maybe all the coins did respawn whenever we, whenever we died, because we definitely collected those ones there too. Oh, you know what? Do we at the ship? I think maybe you can climb up like the mast to the ship, if I remember correctly. Just trying to think back to you know when I was younger. I think there may be something like that that we could do. I bet you that's where I missed it. Hey, thank you for the follow, proximity code. Appreciate it, man. Uh, get in. Thank you. <laughs> not in. Get up, dude. Yeah, there we go. On top of the mass, of the, or the, not the mass, the, the lookout. I don't remember what those things are called. I'm not a ship guy. Where's Creolich when you need him? He seems to be an expert on ships. If you like the sediment building, you should check out Ranger Dave, aka Evil King 13. He has basically created his own country. Fall, uh, in Fallout based primarily on the Minutemen story. What? Really? That's awesome, dude. Proximity Dave. Huh? Yeah, I'll have to check that out. How do we get up there? Oh, nope. Don't zoom in. Um, okay. I can't seem to grab it. Unless, do I just like, do I hit it? Ah, look at that. There we go. We had to break it. Bruh. I mean, we kind of already found the vault. You could just give me the, the combination. I'm sure I could figure it out if you, if you did that. I am a professional thief after all. I think I should know how to open vaults. You would think, at least. <laughs> I've probably opened one or two in my lifetime. If I haven't, then, uh, I don't know. I may want to rethink my my career choice here. Are the coins just for lives? I don't remember. It's been too long since I played Sly Cooper. I'm thinking they are. Because I just noticed whenever we killed those bees and collected those ones that we only have 14, and I've definitely collected more than that. So I'm thinking it got to 100, we got a life, I just didn't notice, and now it's reset to, to 14. 
Yes, thank you. Thank you for the tutorial. I kind of I kind of understand. I'll tell you what though, the game still feels pretty good besides that weirdness with the rope right in the beginning. So far everything's been coming very naturally. It feels very good. Like it's it the game has aged overall fairly well. Seven nine two. Okay, I want for one of the vaults. I don't think this happens as best as I can remember, but for one of the vaults, I just want it to be like the clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is sixty nine three six nine three, and then you just put it in. And it doesn't work, and he's just all like, uh, I don't know how I messed that up. Dive with triangle. Very cool. Thank you for the new move, uh, great-grandpappy, or whoever you were. In whatever way we were related. I bet you there's some pretty wicked speedruns. I say this all the time, just because I'm so into speedrunning. But I bet you there's some pretty we wicked speedruns of Sly Cooperman. With all the different moves you can get in things, I'm sure some of them have to be able to be used in weird ways. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. I think we can handle it, man. Funeral. Doesn't sound all that impossible to me. You started another save on Stardew Valley on a side there, but you're already at level three farming year one, spring day 10. I mean, that seems pretty good, honestly. Um, Are you just like maximizing the number of crops you can do in this run or something like that? Is that kind of what your goal is there? Like what led you to uh, start another farm? Especially, did you finish the, have you finished the community center yet? I know what last time we were talking that, uh, you still hadn't finished the first year of the farm yet. Or not the first year, I'm sorry. The the community center on the farm yet. You're hoping it was the roll rolled everywhere? Dude, that's every game ever. <laughs> you get the dodge roll in Kingdom Hearts or, or something like that. You just got to roll, man. All over the place. You have a serious case to save Scumitas? In what game is the question? What are you, uh, which game are you save scumming? Jump and hit. I can do that, probably, without getting burned. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll see. <laughs> I can try and do it without getting burned. I see myself dying at least once to one of these stupid furnaces, not gonna lie. Eureka! We're in the engine room. My I vaguely remember this. You only have two farms now. No, you haven't. Well, go on this one as the level as much as you can. Year one, focus on community center. Year two, ow. That was that was on me. That was dumb. I should have been paying more, more attention. Uh, so wait, I'm guessing you mean you just deleted all of your other farms then? Because I know you had more than two farms once upon a time. So did you just end up deleting your other ones? Any stealth section in the game? I'll be honest, I'm curious what... Tomorrow we're playing MGS2, Metal Gear Solid 2, um, by request of Chocobo. It's a series that I've always put off on playing, I, I've mentioned before, because stealth games and me just never really get along very well. And uh, I'm really worried that I'm going to end up playing Metal Gear Solid and just not like the franchise. Because <laughs> I, I want to enjoy the franchise, because, I mean, it's freaking Metal Gear, right? And I like the uh, some of the story behind it that I've read and... and uh, seen in videos and things like that. It sounds like a fun series, 
but I'm really worried I'm going to end up playing it and then just not be a fan. Kind of like uh, Crash Bandicoot, right? Crash Bandicoot's one that so many people love and have fond memories of, and I tried it, and I just can't actually get that into it. Like, I've tried and tried, and it's just... I, I guess it's just not for me, man. Like... I don't really, I don't really know why, but yeah, I can't, I can't really get into it. So there's one there. So we want to go here and then jump and then, uh, fuck, we missed. No, dude. Ah, son of a bitch. We're going to have to, we're going to have to redo that. Damn. I, can we get back in here? Is there like a, there's an exit level. I don't really want to start clear over, but I don't think there's going to be any other way to get that. I imagine, I don't remember for sure, but I imagine we can probably redo the the level. Like, after we finish it up, we can probably come back and do it again. Not that you have to collect all of the notes and get all of the uh, secret moves from your family's history or whatever, but it just, it feels good, you know, to 100% the game. You did delete them. You made a new Fox Trails farm now. So you only have your main and then this one. I got you, man. I got you. So what was the, if you don't mind me asking, what was the point of the other farms that you uh, played around with and experimented with? I like all the little visual indicators of like where the fan's been hitting things all this time and, and whatnot. It makes sections like this a lot easier. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it for a second, I've definitely seen someone speedrun this game. I think it was at a GDQ or something like that that I... Okay, yep. Ow. <laughs> that I watched. Because um, I remember they didn't do any of this. They completely skipped all this stuff by using some sort of glitch to get around towards the end of the level. Um, but what actually reminded me of it, sections like that where you have to grab poles or whatever i guess you can kind of glitch it a little bit and not grab it directly i remember i remember reading or not reading seeing them talk about that in in some way um lasers please thank you i don't know why i'm so focused on getting all of these now knowing that i already screwed it up in the beginning but i don't know i feel like i have to anyways <laughs> Oh, dude, if we would have just hit them all, they all fall to the ground, too. That's annoying. I definitely could have. Or should have gotten them all. Oh, well. Just mainly trying to figure stuff out. It's all part of your odd learning process. You don't even want to know the craziness you did in Skyrim after beating the story on your original save. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? Like, you beat the story, and then you went around and did all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Like, I'm just surprised that you're starting this many before even finishing the game. I've started probably a dozen farms in Stardew Valley over the years. But uh, my first farm, I just played from beginning to end, and that was that was it. Of course, whenever I first played, it was right after the game came out, too. So there wasn't a lot of information on the game at that point in time. Like, the, the wiki was in its infancy. You just kind of, everyone had to learn for themselves <laughs> for the most part. I uh, I power gamed a little bit, min maxed a little bit on my first save. I had some spreadsheets. I went all nerd, full nerd mode on it, and I uh, made some spreadsheets showing off how much money each product made, or I'm sorry, like each crop made, because that information wasn't really available at the time, and did made a calculator for it to show, you know, like how many I could grow in a season, so how many seeds I needed to to have and how much money I need to save going into each season so I could max out my my number of seeds that I would plant and etc and like what my profit margins were margins were all kinds of stuff I uh <laughs> yeah but I have learned to calm down a lot since then I do not min max even a little bit in Stardew Valley anymore man because yeah no I find that I enjoy the game more whenever I just kind of chill and play at my own slow pace. It's also one of the reasons why in the last couple games that I've been playing, both personal and with uh, the Dorseman on stream, 
on Sundays, I put that limitation into where we can only hand grow so many crops. Because I don't want to fall back into that same trap of just trying to maximize profits, right? I want to kind of force myself to play a little more slowly, just enjoy the game a bit. Stardew Valley, you can never get into it, really. There's definitely people like that. I forget who I was talking to. Uh, it was just the other day, too, but I was talking to someone, and they were talking about how uh, they like those style of games, and their, their boyfriend or brother or something along those lines tried the game, booted it up for, like, 10 minutes, and then just turned it off and hasn't touched it again since. Like, it's not for everyone, but I've always enjoyed the, the farming game style stuff. Am I supposed supposed to go up to the top i think i'm supposed to go up to the top i don't suppose i can just like jump on this here and then ride it up nope okay worth a shot did i contribute to the wig wiggy with that info no <laughs> no i did not <laughs> i don't think i don't think i've ever contributed to a, a wiki man ever i probably should someday but yeah and honestly, the, the community for Stardew Valley grew so quickly that, like, they they didn't need me anyways, man. Trust me. They got they got to that point quick. It wasn't long after release that there was info for everything uh, on Stardew Valley. Everything that you could imagine. There we go. I was doing it the hard way going across that pipe before. That's what happened. Key number one down. Two more to go. At least not alone, you couldn't. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I'm really glad that they put in the multiplayer update, honestly. Because it's a lot of fun in multiplayer, at least for me. Again, I totally understand it's not for everyone. Um, and I don't think playing multiplayer would completely fix that. But it would definitely help, at least in my opinion. And I've been having a lot of fun playing it with my girlfriend, Mr. Noodle. We've been playing a farm together, and speak of the devil, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. And uh, that's been probably the most fun that I've had in the game since the first time that I played it, right? Because I've gone back through and done some short runs in the game since it came out, but uh, I never recaptured the magic like after like the first time that I played it until I played the, with Mr. Noodle, starting a farm from scratch and just playing basically together the entire time. There's only been like one or two days that I've played without Noodle. How many things do we actually need? Okay, that brings up that. We need five more. What Was there five in that... In that one little area that we screwed up of the, the clues, the bottles? I don't know if there was. <laughs> I guess we'll keep our eye out and see if we're missing one anywhere else. Or if we see one anywhere else that we missed. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's it, man. It was right up here, right? That we screwed it up right after this uh, fire breather. There's one, two, three. There's at least four here. Oh, yeah. Two. Yeah, that's all of them. Dope. And an extra life we missed. Not that we... Shit. Okay, no, that's fine. That's right. Whenever we hit the thing, it falls to the ground. I was about to be so mad, man. I thought we were going to redo the level for nothing and just completely miss it again. I was about to be so freaking mad at myself. But no, it's fine. It's fine. We got it. We're good. Let's go get the stupid secret move from our ancestors. Hopefully the roll so uh, we, can, we can please both myself and Chocobo rolling around all over the damn place. Which reminds me, we have that. <laughs> that would make some of these uh, enemies a little bit easier. Don't get killed by the, the, the electric blade thingies. You really snap onto these wires and things that you can grab too, man. Honestly, oh shit. I think that's the same one I got hit on last time. <laughs> I just get too impatient by the end of it. I don't want to stick around and and, uh, and wait for it to spin anymore. The only 3D platform you've ever played is weird. What was the uh, what was the one that you played? If you don't mind me asking, I'm curious to be honest. I've played a lot of platforming games. I I generally like platform. 
again, I like pretty much every genre of game, so it shouldn't come as a surprise, right? But uh, the Mario series, specifically 2D Mario, was uh, one of my favorite series for a long time. Still is probably one of my favorite series. And then the 3D Mario stuff, I haven't played too many of them, but the ones that I have played have been fantastic. Banjo games growing up, you know, was really into them. I like the ukulele game. Um, that's basically... Aw, oh, fuck. That's basically Banjo, but made today. Ratchet and Clank, kind of, right? It's an action-adventure game, but it has a lot of platforming elements. Really like that as well. Okay, we don't have a horseshoe now, so I do actually need to be a little bit more careful going down this uh, here wire. That was dumb. Waited way too long on that. SpongeBob Battle for Keep Bikini Bottom. I've never actually beaten that one. Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm trying to remember if that's the one that I played. Because I have played a SpongeBob game. Um, a couple, actually. One whenever I was younger, and then one more recently. We did it for the podcast. But I can't remember which one it was. Oh, that's going to bug the hell out of me. But yeah. I remember the one that we played had, like, a, a Game Boy Advance port as well. But I don't remember if that was Battle for Bikini Bottom. Rugrats? <laughs> if, if you're talking about Rugrats being a uh, good 3D platforming example, I don't know, man. <laughs> that was a... Uh, it's a game. That's for sure. <laughs> also weird since you barely watched SpongeBob. Yeah, I've actually found that I enjoy SpongeBob now more being older than I did whenever I was a kid. Like, when I was a kid, I never really cared for Spongebob, but now, whenever it's on, uh, whenever Noodle and I still had cable, whenever it would be on, I would usually watch it, and yeah. Also better than, uh, better than I remember, I guess. I wouldn't mind going back and watching Spongebob one of these days, although at this point, there's so many damn episodes of it. Top tier, the game, the Rugrats game. I definitely think the Rugrats TV show <laughs> is better than the game. The game is... Mm. <laughs> hey, there we go. The Reptar one? One of these days we'll play the Reptar one. The Reptar uh, Rugrats game is interesting, to say the least. There we go. Now we can... <laughs> What's with the little hop that we were doing? That's not rolling. That's hopping. I'm guessing we were hitting little tiny sections of the geometry or something like that. And that's what was making that happen. But that just looked weird as hell. I was going to say, now we can uh, live out our, our fantasy of being Sonic the Hedgehog. The old episodes of SpongeBob were the only one that matters. What's wrong with the new ones? Like I said, I've only ever really seen the ones that, you know, were on TV whenever I would come home for a lunch break or be sitting down and needed something to do while I ate my food. So I don't really know if I've seen the old ones or new ones or whatever. There we go. Got it. Battle for Bikini bom Bottom should be what you play next. I don't actually own that game as far as I remember. I think I had borrowed it. Or no. The one I played was for PlayStation 1, not PlayStation 2. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure. Either that or I borrowed it from the Dorseman. I can't remember for sure which one. But uh, whenever I get the game, I wouldn't mind playing it. Just the few you saw weren't good, Noodle. Or just okay. And that's why you feel that way? Fair. Can't really argue with that. I haven't seen them, so I don't have a strong opinion on them. I guess we'll just go into this next one here. It's a fun game. What, Battle for Bikini Bottom? That's the one that they remade, right? Battle for Bikini Bottom? Because if it is, which I'm thinking more about it, I think it is. Yeah? Okay. So, no, I haven't played that one then. The one I played, like I'm pretty sure it was on the PS1. And it was very uh, interesting, for sure. <laughs> it's good. I've heard good things about Battle for Bikini Bottom. I remember watching a little bit, again, on speedrunning. I, I really enjoy speedrunning. Um, 
watching people speed run things. I just think it's uh, it's awesome watching people completely break stuff. Anyways, I remember uh, watching a video about speed running on Battle for Bikini Bottom because they basically like completely broke the game. I think they found a way to just wrong warp or, or teleport to, to any level or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, I feel like I missed something in here. Is that a... What's that? Is that just a light? Yeah, that's just a light. Okay. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, shit. It's been it's been an hour. It's time for a break. I didn't notice. Well, shit. Okay. Let's get to uh, the checkpoint up here, which I'm pretty sure there should be one. Whenever we hit the next checkpoint, we're going to have to take our break. Okay. There's lasers. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, Where is the... <laughs> Yes, I, I get that, uh, but I kind of, I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, just roll. roll. Rolling will save us. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I wasn't paying attention to the laser, and that's going to be the end of me now. Juke, dear. All right, we got this. It's fine. Everything is fine. Couple death lasers never hurt me anyway. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So we need 22 more. This must be a level that you like find all of the things and then come back for it. It's gotta be. All right. There we go. Got the checkpoint. <laughs> That's good. Banned in game action jumping. Okay. I'll wait to start that five minutes until we come back, and then we'll uh, we'll see how screwed we are. <laughs> I feel like we're not going to get very far with that, but I'm not going to start the timer now because we do have to go to the break. We'll do that whenever we come back, guys, in like three to five minutes. It's a good time to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do whatever you got to do. I'm personally going to go grab a drink because I am thirsty as hell. BRB. It's about the prints and how they set it up. And Mr. Noodle got stuck on 3D printing TikTok. Really, love? I didn't even know that. The orb fragment also knows the fragment of life, but it's only one fourth of the whole piece. When it's become whole, it will have the power to increase the vitality's maximum limit. Very cool. So that's how we get our uh, HP upgrades and shit like that. I like it. I like it. Speaking of podcast, uh, Dorsman and I have been talking about trying to get a somewhat consistent schedule set up for the podcast we're hoping to start doing sunday nights um nearly every week for the podcast we don't know for sure yet if that's gonna happen but that's kind of that's kind of the plan though that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna shoot for um i have a semi-consistent schedule so at work so it's not all that bad for me but uh, he sadly does not have a very consistent schedule. His is a little all over the place. It's 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 uh, it's a bit of a mess to be honest. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can though with the time that we got. Cool wiggly dra dragons and slugs and fat Pokemon. What <laughs> what the hell? Wiggly dragons and slugs. I'm surprised you've never showed me any of the uh, 3D printing stuff since you know I'm into it. Puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Mr. Noodle should love that, man. She loves some uh, She loves some puppets. For the most part, you have no idea what the hell they're talking about, but it's interesting nonetheless. I know you recently saw something about 3D printed swords on TikTok. Like, like full-scale swords? Or, <laughs> like, what kind of swords, man? Like, little play swords? Because, like, full size? That's sick, man. That's dope. You love what? Puppets. Like this, like the the like the marionette doll thingy here. I mean, it's not moving right now, at least not yet. It might be eventually. I honestly don't remember. Like I said, it's been a long ass time since I played this. It's been long enough at this point that I might as well just consider this a uh, a new playthrough because it has been. Oh uh, shit! I was a teenager not too long out of high school. Ten. 10, 11, probably like 12 years ago, give or take, since I played this thing. Oh, there we go. That's a dope looking uh, little puppet thing there. Ventriloquist type. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if these are what you would call ventriloquist type, but uh, yeah, they're, they're a little creepy looking though, in my opinion. 
Hey, I got a rusty key. Very cool. Damn it, wrong there. <laughs> it's all right, Rue. I'll forgive you this time. I mean, I screw up the English language constantly when I'm speaking it, so I think you're allowed to uh, screw up spelling every once in a while. You were a teenager 12 years ago. That means you were 31. Uh, no, so I'm 29. Yeah, 29. But I got out of school early. I got out of high school when I was 16. Went to college when I was 17. Um... Almost 18. It was like uh, four or five months before I turned 60, or sorry, before I turned 18 that I went to college. So, yeah. And it was roughly uh, around 17 because I was out of high school, I'm fairly certain. But I definitely wasn't in college yet whenever I played this game through the first time. So, I'm estimating I was about 17, 12 years ago, give or take. At least you can remember, and he got one hell of a college experience. <laughs> so there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. All right, guys. We are back. Let's see. It's sitting at four minutes right now, the ban and in-game action. So I'm going to add one minute to that whenever it hits the 10-minute mark in the, in the little tracker thing here. The, uh, <laughs> the request queue, that's whenever we'll be allowed to jump again, just to make it easy to keep track of. I honestly don't know if it's going to be possible to progress without jumping. It looks like we can make it up and down these sections, at least. I would like to, to grab these coins. I'm checking all of the little ledges to see if we can get back up without, uh, without jumping, because I'm assuming, like... Oh, Lord. Okay. I got scared for a second. I was like, I thought we could get up it, but maybe, maybe not. No, okay. It's, it's uneven. There are sections where, where we probably can. Yes. But sections where we definitely can't. I think we got all the other coins, and I don't think we missed any of the clues leading up to here. Oh, there's one. We missed one down there. Okay. We know we can get up these ones. Is there a section where it looks like we could probably... Yeah, get up that one. I think I think we can probably make that work. Plus, we can do... Oh, not that button. That's the wrong button. This button. I bet you this dive will be a decent thing that we can use to get over small sections, too. Like, yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, so for small ledges, that's what we're going to have to do. Is that there? But for the bigger ones, there's just... There's going to be no way. We're just going to be fucked. It reminds me of... I forget the name of the uh, YouTuber exactly. I... I want to say it's Nico BBQ, Nico BBQ. Um, but anyways, he does he does different games, challenges like that, right? He'll do like Mario, but no touching left or how far can you get in insert name of game here without jumping, stuff like that. And they're a lot of fun to watch, honestly. I don't think I'd want to watch someone play an entire game that way, but since he edits, edits it down and everything, that makes it a lot better. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that's going to be letting us up there. So we're, we're probably going to have to come back to this section. But I did see up top there, just out of reach because we can't jump. There are definitely some, some bottles up there. I don't know how many. That's fine. How far can we make it into the game? Okay, so this is definitely another jumping section. We're going to have to try and, and use the, use the, uh, the dive ability to make it over this. Oh, but that, that laser's gonna murder us, man. There's no way. We're so fucked. Okay. Let's see if we can even make it to the first one. Nope. <laughs> I can't I can't jump out. Oh god. Yep. Um Oh, we can't even go back. That dive looks like it takes us high enough, but it definitely does not. I think we might be stuck on this little platform until the end of the five minutes, man. I think we're this is this is our life now. This is our domain. We have claimed it and we're staying here. <laughs> let's let's try. We got to try. Nope. Fuck, dude. That looks so close. Yep, he's just he's given up. He's sunk. <laughs> oh god. We somehow have to figure out how to do something for the next 3 minutes. Well, we can collect these coins to collect another life since we just <laughs> lost one. We can also try and figure out how to get up there. Oh, probably right there, actually. That that looks like a decent option. Not that we can right now, though. 
Um, okay. We haven't missed anything back at the beginning, I don't think. There's no point going backwards. I'm not going to just stand around for two minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> we're definitely going to, we're going to try. We're going to try again with the, uh, with diving from platform to platform. My thing is once we actually dive to the platform, I don't know if we're going to be able to avoid the laser. Like, I don't know if our dive takes us high enough to go over it. I don't think it does. Again, that's assuming we can even make it to this first freaking platform here. Okay, we just gotta we just gotta hit the dive really late. All right, laser's coming. Uh, nope, we straight into the water. Tanked. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> how many how many lives do we have? We only have one life left. So, yeah. Okay, gonna collect some more coins again. Definitely need to get that extra life back. It's fine. We we got this. No problem. Too easy. The game was too easy with jumps anyways, so we just wanted to make it uh, more challenging on ourselves. That's all. Oh, it gives us a horseshoe, not a life. Okay. Well, that's fine. The horseshoe is actually pretty good, too. Seems like that might, in, in some situations, give us a little a little jump. But again, only good for really small platforms. Doesn't do us much bit good on the big ones. There we go. Our 10 minutes is up. We made exactly zero progress. <laughs> or, well, five minutes, right? We made exactly zero progress during that, <laughs> which is great. Can't say I'm too surprised, though. <laughs> not jumping in a platform? Or yeah, probably not going to make it too far. Having an odd number of these bottles makes me feel like we missed one somewhere. It's not up here. Huh. Maybe there's just a random one sitting somewhere, then. Oh, dude, there's that life right there, too. We can probably go ahead and grab that. We should probably go ahead and grab that. It'd be nice if that skull wasn't right in the way. Watch us die trying to get back over to the mainland. We're good. We got it. No freaking problem. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. They're death lasers now. Okay. Yep. It's fine. Where's the... <laughs> There's the, the klaxon, I think is what they're called, right? <laughs> Oh, thank God. I am not going around that the way you're supposed to. Oh, hi. There are spotlights over here. Did we want to collect anything else in that little area down there? No. No, just some coins. We're not that worried about it. Okay. Don't get caught in the spotlight. This time, we'll, we'll do it the slow way. Go around. Uh, and again, I guess. I know I've said it before, mentioned it before, but I'm so happy when games do their own artistic spin on things instead of trying to do realistic art styles. Because games like this, man, like it still looks good to this day, in my opinion. Whereas if they had tried to make this look realistic, which I don't imagine they would have done with, you know, a game about a raccoon, <laughs> a raccoon thief at that. Um, but if they had tried to make it realistic, I just can't imagine it looking very good ever, but especially aging over time. It depends on the type of game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, like, don't get me wrong, you know, I definitely enjoy my ultra realistic looking games. Like uh, Final Fantasy, for instance, being one of the series that comes to mind instantly. That since, like, the PlayStation 1, at least, has tried to go for a somewhat realistic art style. And I absolutely adore. But I would make the argument, too, that games like Final Fantasy, you know, 7, <laughs> the original, for instance, just has not aged very well in the art department. Gameplay-wise, I think it's great, but art-wise, oh boy, yeah, has not aged well. 
Whereas if they had done something a little more stylized, something a little bit more unique, then uh, it probably would still look really good to this day. Hence why like Mario games and things look fantastic in my opinion, even now. Whereas, you know, the original Call of Duty games, not so much. <laughs> Deathu, nope. <laughs> the OG Final Fantasy VII looks hyper-realistic. Yeah, that was the height of graphics uh, realism, man. Never going to get better than that right there. All of the hands just being balls. That's the way we're all heading anyways, right? Just, just having... Big triangular balls for hands. <laughs> uh, it's great. It's great. Love the game, but yeah. Doesn't exactly uh, look fantastic to this day. What was the... What did we actually get there? <laughs> I was too busy talking and not paying attention. I think what? We get hints whenever there's clues inside breakable objects? Is that what they said? I think that's what they said. The OG retrilogy is the height of VA. A VA. I'm sorry, I'm not following. OG retrilogy is the height of VA. Oh lord, I feel like this is probably something obvious and I'm just stupid, but... A voice acting! The OG Resident Evil trilogy is the height of voice acting. Got you. Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> I would argue that the uh, Resident Evil 1 voice acting was so cringy that it made it good. <laughs> because, like, oh boy, it definitely added some character to the game. I, I'll say that much about it. <laughs> but it was... It was fantastic. If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity... Uh huh. Spit it out, guy. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? I hate him sometimes. <laughs> can I not just roll on it? Oh no, I had to run on it. Sure, that works. I wanted to roll on the rolly thing, but no. Game said fuck off. I guess there's like it's possible that you wouldn't have unlocked the rolling ability, so they probably couldn't have it that way. The fire down below. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, we almost died. GG us. Why is that popping up already? The fire down below thing. Because I don't think the level's up there, right? I could be wrong. You love your corny lines and delivery? Honestly, like I said, I think it was bad enough that it added some character to the game. I, I do legit believe that. Like... I think the worst voice acting is in, like, the in-between era, where where they started to take voice acting a little more seriously, but it was still really bad. <laughs> because it wasn't so bad that it's good at that point, but it was still really bad. So, yeah. I, I think it was, like, Resident Evil 2 or 3. I forget which one, but one of them is where it kind of... It lost its charm of being terrible. Although they still definitely kept some of the uh, the corny... The corny B-action movie style lines. They definitely kept that in there, though. The Resident Evil games are so good, man. Well, at least the original trilogy. 4, I couldn't get that into, but I do want to go back and... Oh, we have the roll ability enabled, not the... <laughs> I'm trying to do the attack. There we go. Dive. That's what I wanted. That was almost really bad. Oh, wait. No, we got a horseshoe. We would have been fine. That's all you need in life, man, to avoid all negative consequences of your actions is a horseshoe on your back. It's weird to me that they put the vault right in the beginning of this level and not towards the end. I don't know when we'll get to it, but I remember one of the game, or somewhere in the game, unless it was the second one. I don't remember, but you're in like this big mansion-y style area, and you have to get in a barrel and do like, you know, stealth section. 
Th I don't remember when or which game exactly, but I'm assuming we can get to the top and then run around to get all that. We don't have to like jump off the hooks. Maybe we do. It is this game. I thought it was, but I couldn't remember. It's been, you know, that long since I've played. Oh God, I'm scared. Um, maybe if we hook on this one, can we, can we go like that way with it? No, we can only go side to side or front to back. Uh, we'll try, but I think we're, I think we're going to die here. I'm not, not to lie. Uh, okay. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. We're dead. <laughs> if you fall into the lava, you get infinite lives. Hacks. No, wait, there's got to... Oh, shit, I'm stupid. Right here. Holy hell, okay. We just jumped the gun a little bit. We would have just continued in with the level. We were going to save that horseshoe there. Oh, well. Makes the game more exciting not having uh, the ability to take any extra hits, right? Just like all the instant death pits in the original Castlevania games. Definitely made better games. Whenever you would get hit by an enemy and just get <laughs> completely destroyed from falling into a random hole in a mansion. Because, of course, you know, every mansion I've ever seen has had random holes all through it. Yours doesn't? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I hate infinite death pits. Or infinite death pits? Instant death pits so much. Same with, like, the Mario games and stuff like that. The... the Placement wasn't as bad, I feel like, in uh, in Mario games for the for the enemies and the death pits and things like that. But they still had them. It's just annoying, especially when you don't have like, if you fell in the pit and that took made you take some damage or something, that'd be one thing. But you falling into a pit and just instantly dying, bruh. Uh, okay, we're falling infinitely. There we go. We're good. It's fine. Everything's fine. Castlevania 4 is phenomenal. I need to play that one. You're definitely not the only one that said that. I've only ever beaten the first one, and then I've played... Was it the second one where they tried to turn it into, like, an action-adventure game? Was that the second one, or was that one later in the series? Whichever one that one was, I played a bit of that one, and just did not like it nearly as much... I took damage from that? Anyways, did not like it nearly as much as I liked the first one. And then I played a little bit of the, what, Game Boy one, or whatever it was... But I've never gotten around to playing the other ones. I do want to. They're good good games. A lot of fun. Hard. Hard as balls sometimes, but good fun. Uh, might as well collect all the coins since we are taking damage and a bit low on lives. Even if it just gives us a horseshoe, that's better than nothing. Charge quick, charge quick. Uh, nope. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Is there a way to disable that thing? Do we have to, like... Nope, okay. Seems like we just have to go for it. Just gotta get the timing down and go. There we go. Oh, it was on the conveyor belt, so we could have done it in pieces, and that was fine. That makes sense. I was wondering how the hell we were supposed to get that fully charged up with that stupid spotlight constantly coming at us. So there's 26, 27, 28. Don't get caught in the spotlight. I mean, the Klaxon is right there. Oh, shit, there's the end. We definitely missed a few somewhere. I mean, we're going to have to come back into the level anyways. It's just easier to do it that way to get to the beginning instead of running all the way back through it. Though I guess if we ran all the way back through it, we might have found it on the way through. Oh well. It's fine. I want to get all the abilities. I kind of wish it would have left us up there. That would have been nice of it. Back up we go. Oh, nope. Back down we go. <laughs> <laughs> I I could have swore I hit the circle button. I guess I was just too far away. Uh, Swing, baby. Thank you. Not up here. Go back down. Good job, Sly. You did it. 
Where could the last four be? Um. Yeah, I know. The temperature's really high. Shut up. Not helping me at all. Okay, so there's nothing. Wait, there's a safe here. Did we break the safe last time? Apparently not. Oh, it was only two that we needed. Dope. So that's it. I can't believe we missed that safe. We're idiots. It's fine. Just give me the code so I can enter it. How about that? Five, seven, nine. I've never tried, but I wonder if you can... Like, if you just know the codes, can you get into the saves, or do you have to get all the clues first, I wonder? I have no idea. Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. Slow motion jumps. Awesome. How do we how do we use it? The triangle like the other ones? Yeah, okay. I'm sure that'll come handy in some situation. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but do we just have to tap it? We do. Okay. And then, oh, shit. <laughs> and then instantly use up our horseshoe. Good job. Slow motion right into the fire. Love it. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. I'm assuming if we exit the level, it saves that the fact that we collected stuff. Yeah, okay. Good. Good, good, good. Um, okay, so that was, that was three keys. That's all we needed to get through that, right? Or did we need four? No, yeah, three. But there is another level up top, so we're going to go do whatever the hell that is before we continue on. Just might as well smash it, though. Get that out of the way. Collect all of our coins, our shiny, shiny coins. Love it. Then how the hell do we get up top? I'm assuming that bright red wire right there. That's our ticket. Ooh, a horseshoe. Um, yeah, I do want to collect that. You're just telling me this now? How to adjust the game camera? I would have thought that would have been like a first level tutorial tip, honestly. I better? Wow. <laughs> Someone's got an attitude. What's this for? Hiding? Yeah, okay. Can I just like jump over it? Yeah, that seems a lot easier than, like, <laughs> than trying to hide each time he comes through. Nah. Just jump over the, the, the window things and kick his ass. Problem solved. You have an attitude. Love you. Smash the books for extra coins. That's how that works. That's how it works in real life, too. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Okay. Touch floor. Get hit. Got it. Oh, that's where the barrel comes in. Yeah. You love Metro, but one thing you dislike is that you can do all the good deeds possible. Spare and knock out as many people as possible. You still kill a few of the bad guys. You'll get the bad ending. I honestly did not realize that's how that worked. Like, wait, hold on. So in Metro 1, or is that a different one of the Metro games? Because, like, I, I didn't realize that you could... Oh. Okay, we're fine. We can just run. It's just darts. Anyways, I didn't realize that you could uh, go through that game without killing everyone, to be honest. So, like, if if you're talking about Metro 1, does that mean, like, the only thing you have to kill in that game are the beast peoples? Or, like, do you have to kill everyone? I'm confused. Also, I feel like there's probably some way to, uh, to do a skip there and get right to the end. You despise Bentley's voice? Yeah. <laughs> I think I just despise him as a character. And that leads to me disliking his voice, but, uh... Were we supposed to bring the thing in here? We were probably supposed to bring the thing in here. We're dead. Yep, you can stop shooting me, globe thingies. I'm going back to get the barrel. 
All the games have a secret morality system. Yeah, I figured there was something that I was missing, honestly, because, like, I forget exactly what ending I got, but it didn't seem like a great ending. Um, so I figured there was some way to change the outcome, but I had just assumed it was because I didn't do all of the side missions possible and stuff. So I figured I just missed it from there, but that's neat, though. A nice little mechanic. I bet you I can just kill this Cthulhu-looking bastard and uh, be done with it. I don't know why, but this level in particular is the one, like I was saying earlier, that I just kind of remember. It's like a little iconic to me. Something about the barrel, I think, just stuck with me all these years. Why can you not grab the bookshelves? That's clearly a ledge you should be able to stand on, man. Oh, hi. There's a <laughs> there's a one up. We'll grab that. We could certainly use it. I wanted that horseshoe, but maybe we'll have to. Oh, hold on. Maybe if we go up here and then we can jump over or something to the other ones. Uh, why is the camera showing me down there? I don't care about down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't see me. You just finished Astro's Playroom and loved it? Dude, same. Astro's Playroom on the PS5 is one of my favorite experiences on the PS5 so far. Granted, I haven't played that many PS5, like, exclusive games. Um, actually, I think the... Have I played any PS5 exclusive games yet? I guess not, right? I've played Gran Turismo 7, Final Fantasy 7 Remake I've played a, a bit of. Um, and then Astro's Playroom, that'd be the only exclusive. So yeah, anyways though, point is, it, it's really good. I love it. It's a great experience, and the fact that it's just free and comes with the console makes it that much better. It's a it's a great little platforming experience, honestly. It's very cute too, and getting all the little uh, secrets and things to to unlock all of the consoles. I ended up 100%ing it. Um, I, I unlocked all of the the consoles in the game. Um, all of the the handhelds, the little oh Ratchet Rift in Time. Yes, there you go. That one, that one was really good too. Really, really good. But I also like Ratchet games, so yeah. <laughs> of course I'm gonna like that one. You're gonna check out Returnal? I'm pretty sure I ended up picking up Returnal, but haven't played it yet. I'm pretty sure that's in my in my box of games over there that I just haven't had a, a chance to do anything with. Don't touch that. That's definitely a booby-trapped floor. At least he made it obvious for people. But yeah, I was really chuffed whenever I played. <laughs> Gran Turismo 7, yes. GT7. Not not like GTA or anything. <laughs> not not trying to like make up a game here. Gran Turismo 7. I've played and uh really enjoyed. I like Gran Turismo games. They're one of the only non arcadey like need for speed style racing games that I can really get into. Break that. Get out of here. Nobody wants your clax on. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, I was going to say, how the hell are we supposed to get up there? Since apparently we can't grab the stupid bookcases. It's impossible. Your GT7 was horrible? Oh, I love it, man. The only problem that I had with it... Oh, we can hide behind the barrel too? Didn't know that. The only problem that I have heard with Gran Turismo 7 was that uh, they kind of... For a period of time, they've they've gone through and rebalanced things quite a bit. But for a period of time, they... Oh, shit. Are we dead? We are. We slipped on some goo and died. They had, like, the amount of credits, credits that you got from races were really low. And, of course, they were selling credits for real money. So it seemed kind of like, you know, just a cash grab, pay to win style thing. Um, but they've rebalanced that a lot, and at least I haven't had any issues with that. But with that said, I got the, like, early buy-in bonus. So I, uh, I got a million free credits, which has helped. But out of the million free credits, I've only... Damn, dude, he spits quick. Out of the million free credits, I think I'm only short, like, 100 
thousand or something like that out of them. Um, and I didn't even need to be short on that many of them, but I've just bought some extra cars that I really didn't need or have done anything with just because I wanted to. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the... It is, m like, most of it, I think, is online only, which is really dumb. That is honestly a problem that I wish didn't exist, but, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, we got it. I have fairly good and consistent internet connection here, so it doesn't affect me too much. But I, I definitely know that that's not the case for everybody out there. And I don't think any game that's not an MMO, essentially, should have always online DRM. That's just not a good time for anyone. Okay, there's that horseshoe, but I kind of don't want to go down there and grab it, to be honest. I want the horseshoe, but I don't want to redo that section getting back up here again. Am I going to fall? No, okay. Good. We're good. Everything's fine. Yeah, I haven't tried to play the game without being connected online, so I don't know if everything is online only, or if it's only... Because a lot of people play Gran Turismo for the online racing mode, which obviously that part has to be online. Um, but I only ever really played it for the offline stuff. The single player stuff, so I don't know... I don't know how that works, to be 100% to be honest. I didn't realize we could smash those. That probably would have made some sections a lot easier. I see a couple up there that we missed of the secret clues. Can you can you grab that there, bud? Maybe, okay, we'll go to this one and then jump that way. There we go. Gotta be smarter than the game. So we're missing two. I'm going to guess that the two that we're missing are hidden inside some of the globes because I didn't think to try and smash the globes before now. Oh god, we're dead. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that was so dumb. I was just talking about how we can smash the globes and then I just step on the stupid pressure plate right in front of the globe like an idiot. Uh, Sly, do you want to go in the barrel maybe there, bud? Okay, now we can keep going. Do you have a thing? You do not. Do you have a thing? From what you've heard between Gran Turismo 7 and Forza, Horizon 5, Forza 1. Um, I've never played the Forza series, so I don't have a real opinion on it. I do know for the Gran Turismo games, at least the last couple, I, I'm a big collector in games, right? I, I just have that collector mentality of gotta, gotta get everything. Um... I, so I really appreciate in the Gran Turismo games at least how many cars there are to collect if you if you want to spend the time doing that sort of thing. I don't know if Forza has the same sort of thing going on with it or not. I don't think it does. But again, never played it firsthand, so I could be wrong on that. Totally admit that I could be missing something there. Um, but it's on my list of games that I do want to try one of these days, especially now that the Forza games are coming to PC being Microsoft uh, first party titles and all. Um, but yeah, I, I've never been much of a Xbox gamer. I, I had and really loved the original Xbox, but the 360 didn't really have any games that intrigued me. The one didn't really have any games that intrigued me. Um, same with the series now. And now with the series and the later half of the one at least, all of their games are coming to PC, so I just never really saw a reason to pick it up. I did end up getting an Xbox One because I want to play Fable 2. Um, and that is on Xbox 360 only, if I remember correctly. Halo 3 didn't intrigue you? No, <laughs> honestly, I played it and I did. Like, I have owned an Xbox 360. I actually owned three Xbox 360s. One uh, died and then the other two I ended up just, just selling after a while. Um... But I played a bit of Halo 3, and it just didn't do it for me. I played completely through the story of 1 and 2. And I played a fair bit of 1 multiplayer, mostly LAN style with, with friends and family and stuff like that. But a little bit online. And uh, it, it just never really did it for me. Um, Halo 3, I mean. I have the Master Chief Collection on PC now, and I want to give them all another try. Me and my brother were doing co-op runs through them. 
but uh, doing anything co-op with someone that doesn't live with you can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes, so we haven't gotten around to finishing that. Maybe it's... Oh, I bet you it's inside there. Yeah, I can see a vault. So we just gotta jump inside there. There we go. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Okay, it just pushes open. Big fuck. Um, and I know I'm crazy for that, though. A lot of people have told me that Halo 3 was, like, the best one and the online mode was amazing and everything like that. But, uh, since I actually liked Halo more for the story, the, the amazing online mode didn't do much for me, man. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in 242. 242? Got it. Or, nope, not that way. No PlayStation game has ever intrigued you? That's fair. I, I'm personally a huge fan of uh, God of War, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank. Um, Final Fantasy series goes back and forth between being exclusive and not, but the Final Fantasy games. Um, so yeah, I've, I've there's always been more games on PlayStation that I've cared about. The Fable series is the only one on Xbox, classically at least, that... Uh, makes me want to own an xbox and fable one and three are both on pc two is the only one that's not i do one of these days want to give uh gears of war another shot too though because gears was interesting the little bit of it that i played but it just wasn't enough to to for me to justify continuing to own a console when i was a uh, bro college student so i just ended up selling it off All right, get out of this damn level. <laughs> Gears is violent, which is why you like it. Really? I never would have guessed that you like violent games. <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, the, the, I play games mostly for like the, the story and uh, if the gameplay itself is fun, then, then. You know, th that's huge too. Because obviously games like the Mario games, for instance, have next to no story in them. But the uh, the gameplay is fantastic. So for me, you need kind of one or the other needs to be really good. And uh, I've heard from various people, as Nate is saying right now, that Gears has a has a really good story. And the gameplay has looked fun, right? From from the trailers that I've seen and things. But uh, but yeah, I just never, I never gave it a proper shot. So I do want to do that one of these days. Because I have the Xbox One and I believe a couple of the Gears games. Are they on PC? One or two of them? So what are we waiting for? I think they are, but I could be mistaken on that one. You're in it for gameplay and story with a little MP on the side? That's mostly how I am, but uh, basically no multiplayer these days. <laughs> I played, like, back whenever Call of Duty was at its peak. I played a lot of that online and, you know, me and my brothers really got into that. Like I said, a little bit of Halo and things, but uh, these days, most of the time, I just want to—I just want to play single player. I don't want to—I don't want to deal with any of the other BS. Oh, so we're missing. How many more keys do we need? So we have five. We need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. It was great for that, considering the enemy AI is unique, yeah. Well, and I, I actually like the story of Halo a lot, too, which is why I played through 1 and 2 and completely. Um, and it's why now I want to go back and play through the other ones, is because I want to see how the story ends up wrapping up, how it ends, uh, ends basically, yeah. Plus, uh, I have played the... What was the new Halo multiplayer called? I forget. But uh, point is, I, I played that a little bit with my, my brother and a buddy of mine, and that was pretty fun, too. As far as multiplayer online shooters go, infinite, yeah. As far as uh, online multiplayer shooters go, is one of the, the better experiences that I've had in years. <laughs> Noodle doesn't understand why garlic bread is always on TV. Okay, so there's this YouTuber, Tom Scott, that I like, and uh, he sent garlic bread into the stratosphere with a with a gopro camera and did a little video about it right but he also released the the full version like 
five hours or whatever of it floating up there, floating around for a while and coming back down. And for some reason, YouTube, anytime I leave YouTube running for too long, YouTube's just like, yeah, we know what you want. You want more of that garlic bread in the stratosphere action <laughs> and just and just plays it. I have no idea why, but it does this constantly. Infinite has a great campaign and you enjoy its open world. I haven't played the single player mode at all yet. Do you want to shut up already, Mr. Frog Dude or whoever you are that's <laughs> talking in the game? Um, I haven't played the single player at all. I probably will one of these days, but I'm so busy with things. I have, like, in my box of games over there, there's probably, like, eight or nine games. Oh, okay, we're dead. We got knocked from him into the water. Oh, no, it actually saved us. Dope. Oh, I'm so glad we're alive. Anyways, um, <laughs> I have at least, like, eight or nine games just completely sealed that I want to play. I bought them to play them, but I haven't had any any time to, so. I would love to say I'm gonna play Halo Infinite campaign soon, but I, I doubt it, honestly, just to be real with you. That's true for, for most games. If it's not on stream, yeah, <laughs> probably not gonna be playing it anytime too soon. I am looking for a game to play in my off time, um, but lately that's just been Stardew Valley. I was thinking of maybe going and playing Final Fantasy X, nine, because I did. Uh, I played through Final Fantasy eight for the first time, um, not too long ago. Okay, we need to we need to destroy that Klaxon and then come back. And it was a game. I hate what they did with some of the systems in that game. Like the, the way you level up and uh, the way your, your power is completely tied to the magic that you steal from enemy creatures. And then, God, the menuing in that game was terrible. Just You spent more time in the menu in that game than you did actually playing the game. So, like, it had its problems, but I think Final Fantasy IX was a bit more of a return to form from what I've seen of it. So I want to I wanna go back through and play that one of these days. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention and we are dead. <laughs> I think we got a checkpoint right before that, at least. We only have one life left, we gotta be careful. The only Halo game you don't recommend is Halo 5 and that's because it's too competitive and the story is bad. Ugh. Do you need to play it though for the story to make sense or, holy fuck, you died again. I might actually game over here. Uh, but yeah, do you need to play it for the story to make sense, though? Or can you just, like, skip it? Is it is it not important for the rest to the rest of the game? Okay, I thought I missed shit there for a moment, but no, that's just all the coins that respawned because I uh, died twice, actually. Uh, what, what happened there? I pressed circle. Bruh. Okay, well... We get to figure out what happens when you game over. <laughs> I'm assuming it just sends us back to the beginning of the level. Yeah, okay, that's not all that bad. That's not that's not that big of a deal. Keep all of our progress up to that point. Really not bad at all. I didn't figure it was gonna be too bad. I mean it most games since like you know, the Super Nintendo weren't total dicks about game overs <laughs> it's not like old arcade games and, and original nintendo games where you game over and hey you're starting the entire game over from scratch bruh kind of but you can just watch a video of it if you want the story of h5 fair enough yeah it's kind of like the kingdom hearts stories right i love the kingdom hearts games but a couple of them are rough <laughs> so if you don't want to play them man just watch a video on it you can watch the, the cutscene compilation and get a, a good enough feel for the story without playing through it yourself. Totally understand that feel. So whenever we game over, it seems like it even saved our progress with the bottles. It's just instead of starting from the checkpoint, we started from the beginning. Which honestly isn't that bad. Halo 1 through 3 is Halo's true story. After that, it's a complete spin, excluding Reach. I don't know why the chat on screen, for anyone who doesn't know, I use the, the chat on stream to, uh, like, what pops up in the video to, to read chat most of the time. I don't know why Streamlabs is messing up 
the commas or apostrophes I mean um, I don't know <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that but it's kind of bugging me anyways Halo 1 through 3 is Halo's true story after that's complete spin excluding reach uh, you'll have to explain a little bit to someone who has never, like I said, only ever beaten one and I think two. I don't remember, honestly. I want to say I'm pretty sure I beat two and then and then played three. I know at the very least I played a lot of two and uh, tried three, but I can't 100% remember with certainty that I beat two. I'm pretty sure I did. But my memory has known to... to to fail me. You always forget about ODST. I'm assuming ODST is pretty decent then. From the way y'all are talking about it. Yeah, we gotta jump down and deal with this guy. You're dead. GG. Um, where's the other guy? He's coming around. You should be easy enough to, for, to forget. I'm about to forget about Saw I saw the forget about it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, ah, oh, you should be easy to forget about, Mr. Guy in the middle of the the path there. No. Easy to murder is more like it. Jump. Okay. ODST is better than Halo 3 and it's like an old school DLC with an entirely new campaign. Which one, in your guys' opinion, if you don't mind me asking, is the is the best of the bunch? I know for me personally, it's Halo 1. Um, not necessarily because I think Halo 1's actually the better game, but just because that's the one that I spent the most time playing with friends and family. So I have like the, the, the most fond memories of that one. But I do, from what I remember, I think Halo 2 is the better of the two games, from what I remember. I'm just curious what your guys' opinions are on. I'm assuming you both uh, like Halo 3. That's kind of like one of your top picks or top pick. This one was cake. Input 719. 719, okay. Why is that one cake? I don't understand why some of these he acts like are the hardest thing in the world and other ones he's like, nah, super easy, bro. Halo 3 was supposed to be the conclusion of Master Chief, and it's the final one done by Original Studio. That's a fair point, the fact that it's the last one done by the Original Studio. Uh, we're, we got Coin Magnet? That's actually really nice. I love that ability in games. All the collectibles just, you know, get pulled into your being. That's how it should always be. Um, original Studio, ODST and Reach were pre-log games. Prologues? Pre-logs? Pre-pre-prequels <laughs> type games. When we're done to finish out contract, not in any way am I saying they were bad, just that 3 was the planned conclusion for Master Chief from the original Bungie. I gotcha, I gotcha. I, uh, honestly completely forgot that, yeah, Bungie kind of left the game there. I can't blame them, though. You know, after a while, they just wanted to do something else, and Microsoft was like, nah, bro, either make this shit or go. <laughs> and they were like, all right, we're out. I can't, I can't blame them, man. It's a three-way tie between CE, Reach, and ODST. Okay. Okay. So CE, that's the original. Combat Evolved. Reach and ODST, those were both, what, later in the... Or no, Halo, Halo 3 was Reach, right? And then ODST, that was... I don't know where that one falls. <laughs> Three was your favorite personally because you had a lot of fun in custom games and made some good friends, yeah. That's where I feel like a lot of people pick three or why a lot of people pick three because the kind of like my fond memories of one playing with, you know, friends and family, it seems like a lot of other people have that for, for three playing, you know, online as a, as a kid and making, making friends and just doing stupid shit, which is basically what we did in one, right? There just, there wasn't the, the custom map creator style thing that they added to three at that time, but we still did, you know, stupid stuff like frags only or, or, uh, swords. Was the sword in one? I don't remember, but you get the point. We'd come up with our own stupid rules that we would all have to follow and, uh, just fuck around and stuff. Did that a lot in GoldenEye 007 too, right? With, uh, 
Like the the mines only, slappers only, golden gun, just messing around with shit like that. It's a lot of fun. So I definitely I definitely get where you're coming from with that one, Nate. But all right, guys, it is 1:55 in the morning, my time. That means it is time to wrap this up. I honestly I had a lot of fun with Sly Cooper. Um, I already knew coming into this one that I was going to though because I like Sly Cooper. I like I always have. <laughs> um, but yeah, what a what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday, and tomorrow we will be playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. So if you're into that, go ahead and join us. Hang out with us for a little bit while we finally give that one a chance. I really hope that I end up enjoying that series because it's one that I've always wanted to play through all the games of. And it's one I feel like as a gamer needs to be played, um, right? Because it's just such a huge franchise, but I could just never bring myself to actually do it. So here's hoping I enjoy it. ODST is the spinoff using the same engine as 3, but had different story and new mechanics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that clears things up, actually. Never really got to play ODST or Reach much, Nate. Well, with the uh, the collection being out now, it's probably a good time to do that, huh? But anyways, guys, again, thank you everyone so much for coming and hanging out with me a little bit. We will be back tomorrow with some Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. We talked about the, 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 the thing we're doing and the new niche. We did the poll. We played the game. We said goodbye. So have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Yes. Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for...